Today we'll be talking about black soldiers in the Civil War. On the 1st of January 1863, the Emancipation Proclamation came into effect. This freed slaves and allowed them to fight for the Union in the Civil War. Considering almost 14% of the United States population was made up of black slaves, this resulted in a hefty boost of about 180,000 soldiers to the Union Army. The first official regiment made up of black soldiers was the 54th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment, created in early February uh, 1863 and led by Robert Goldshaw. However, things were not so equal at first. The black soldiers got paid $3 less than their white counterparts because some people believed that the whites were better and more capable fighters than the freed slaves. However, throughout the war, the white people saw that actually the blacks should be equal to them as they were just as willing to die and fight for their country as they were. On July the 18th, the 54th Massachusetts Regiment made their most famous attack on Fort Wagner. A victory would allow Union ships to enter Charleston Harbour and would mean a lot. However, the attack was a, was a failure, but it did show that the black soldiers could fight just as courageously as, and as bravely as the white soldiers. We believe that the introduction of black soldiers into the Union Army provided a turning point to the Civil War and contributed to the eventual uh, Union victory. The historian James McPherson agrees with this view. He says that the Battle of Antietam, which prompted uh, the Emancipation Proclamation, um, was a turning point in the Civil War. This is because the black soldiers provided nearly a third of the Union force, which allowed the Union to fully implement the strategy of attrition. Thank you for listening. We hope you've learned something new today.